Hey tarot friends, this is Ultraviolet Morgan and this is another pick a card reading. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm yelling. <laughs> okay, we have three piles today, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is Hello Kitty in the pumpkin shirt, the pumpkin costume. Pile two is Hello Kitty in the skeleton costume. And pile three is Hello Kitty in the superhero costume. Oh, hmm, did I say what our question is? So today we are asking the tarot cards for a message from our familiar spirit. Message from your familiar spirit, hosted by Hello Kitty. So go ahead and select one of the Hello Kitties to be your familiar spirit, and we'll see which message comes your way. Um... I just want to introduce myself real quick. I'm Ultraviolet Morgan. I do videos about tarot, tarot topics, tarot card walkthroughs, reviews, um, first impressions, and of course I do tarot pick a card readings. And then now, now and again I just do some other sort of stray um, miscellaneous topics. Couldn't think of the word miscellaneous for a minute there. All right, now we're going to go ahead with the reading. If you chose pile number one, Hello Kitty, in the little pumpkin costume, this is the reading for you. And I'm just going to slide back. First, we have the werewolf. So, possibly your familiar spirit could be a wolf. Or even a werewolf. We have the Four of Potions in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands upright. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Pretty much the only way we really want to see it is in reverse. And then we have Nine of Cups. Knave of Swords. And the King of Coins. The werewolf uh, talks about exploring wildness. And we also have the Two of Stones in reverse. Challenge. Look at this sort of spidery looking Queen of Wands. And we have the shadow. So I think that your um, group, for those of you who chose group one, your um, familiar, my words are just failing me at the moment, is uh, wanting to let you know about some challenges that are ahead. Um, but I feel like you are going to be able to get through them quite easily with um, the five being reversed, I feel like it's going to be a few setbacks, um, but there's nothing you can't handle. Queen of Wands, energy is really, you know, kind of blowing it away there. Um, the werewolf um, comes out during the full moon and then returns back to to human very quickly after, so I feel like there's going to be this really sort of quick thing that's going to feel like everything's going crazy, everything's kind of falling apart, your sort of restful, well-ordered world is just flipped on its head, a little bit of excitement of, you know, could be the good variety, the bad variety, whatever, the apple cart's getting upset, but I feel like it's going to be very brief, very quick, and your, um... Familiar Spirit wants you to know that it's just not going to last. Tough times. Tough times never last, but tough people do. I was thinking of that the other day, and I could not remember how it went. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting for you guys. Your Familiar Spirit wants you to know that tough times never last, but tough people do. And you are a tough, tough people. You're a queen of wands for sure. And we have the Knave of Swords. So this is a knight who is very... Um,
Man, what is the word I want? Okay, we'll talk about the King of Coins, who is all about sort of being on top of things, being responsible. We have the Knave of Swords, who is really about uh, new ideas. And so I feel like, um, you know, the ideas that you need are going to be coming to you pretty easily. And you'll be able to keep a clear head. You'll be able to keep a uh, stick with your responsibilities of, you know, doing the things that need to be done to get you through whatever this little hiccup, this little bump in the road. Nine of Cups is a very good card. It's a wish card. Um, it's kind of a satisfaction card. So, yeah, I feel like there's a strange little... little tiny hiccup that's coming up. But overall, it's something that you can so easily handle. And it's just not going to be very much of an issue for you. So that is pile number one. And we're going to go to those who chose pile number two. Hello Kitty with the skeleton outfit. Skeleton outfit. Oops. Why did I put that way over there? Oops. Midnight. The most magical hour of all. Ooh, your um, familiar spirit is coming to you at midnight. I wonder if you've been waking up at midnight or staying awake till midnight. If you enjoy the midnight hour. Ten of presents. Ten of presents and six of cups. Wow. Okay, then we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so here with the Ten of Presents, we have pretty much everything that you want. You are satisfied. You have all of what you want. Your home, everything is kind of the way you like it. Six of Cups is um, nostalgia, memories, happy memories, something from the past, kind of reaching forward and then the four of cups is someone offering something that you don't want and I'm thinking the reason you don't want it is because you're already pretty satisfied with what you have the world in reverse these are all reversed five of swords in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse And then the final card we have is Arc of Arrows, the Breath of Life. So the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so that kind of tells me, I feel like your your familiar spirit is telling you that someone's going to come to you with kind of an idea or something that's not really on the level. And then you're going to recognize it. And I don't know if they're going to be trying to scam you and you're just not going to be having it, or if they're trying to get you involved in something that's a little bit shady, but your familiar spirit is saying, no, you don't want to go for it. Be on the lookout for that sort of thing, because it's something you can avoid, and you will be very happy that you did. The Five of Swords shows a little bit of, um, you know, winners and losers, and, you know, yes. It's, it's a game that you just don't want to be involved in. The world reversed. You know, this opportunity that someone's going to bring to you is something that could potentially turn the wor your world upside down, but not in a good way. And your familiar spirit is coming to you at the midnight hour to say, look, you have everything you want. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the streams that you're used to. The breath of the life. If it feels like everything is so, so, so comfortable and samey that you're getting bored and that you're feeling like you're looking for trouble, um, I think this the breath of life, Ace of Arrows, is really telling you... Um, 
that there are some good ways that you can breathe new life into um, what's happening in your world without um, without following this really unacceptable plan of action. So, for group two, your um, <laughs> familiar spirit wants you to know that when someone comes to you with a plan that's too good to be true, um, don't bet the farm. Don't give up the things that you have for um, this thing because it's not worth it. And there is one more final card. Um, so far, this has sort of reminded me of Back to the Future. I think it's three with his friend Needles. Um calling him a chicken and then he goes and he does he gets in the race and then he basically ruins his whole life so do not let someone you know uh, bully you or tease you or goad you into doing something that you will regret is what your your familiar spirit wants you to know in the offering so if someone offers you something I want you to your familiar spirit would like you to look at it very carefully before accepting it. Some offerings are more than you bargained for, can be something of a Trojan horse. On the other hand, some offerings can help you to bring that breath of life in. Just make sure that it's on the up and up. Make sure that you're not being scammed. You're not scamming anyone else. As long as you are following good ethical protocols it's fine um just um be clear on that one point and you should be fine and that is what your um familiar spirit wants to know wants you to know for those of you who chose the third familiar spirit hello kitty superhero she looks like a little um who are those girls? The, 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 the Powerpuff Girls. That's who it is. Alright, so. Always keeping this one out to last. For those who chose Pile 3, Joy. Your familiar spirit wants you to know joy. Rejoicing in the present. Your familiar spirit wants you to pay attention to the present moment. Because there's something really wonderful for you there. Look at this. Presents, present, present, five, six, seven of presents, which is the seven of pentacles. The king of cups in reverse. So here we have some kind of emotional upset. Um, but I also feel it could be an emotional um, overflowing. More of an emotional overflow. Five of Swords. Not the first time I've seen that today. Five of Swords. The Lovers. Knight of Coins. We're going to have to pause. 